What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Let me give y'all this message real, real quick, man. Um, we got to be focused, and you got to be focused on um, sustaining and maintaining you, uh, making sure that you are good. People, you have people in your life that care about you. You know, most people do. Now, there's some of us that are really unfortunate that may not have anybody. You might be in this world all alone. And, and, and sadly, there are some people that are, that are like that, and they're doing the best that they can under the circumstances. But for the most part, um, we all have people that care about us, that are, that are come through for us when, when it's really time to come through. Um, but the mistake we make is thinking that everybody that you deal with is in that kind of mindset. People only care for so long, and the world keeps on turning. The world keeps on moving because people are living their own life. And you, you really can't knock them for that. You can't knock people for having their own life and having their own um, problems. See, well, sometimes we get caught up in our own problems that we kind of um, condense it down to thinking that, okay, well, we're the only ones that's, that's dealing with this or my problems are the only ones that, that are important in this big old universe that we live in, when in reality, your next door neighbor is going through something. When in reality, your, your cousin is going through something. In reality, the person that you are uh, working next to at the job is going through something. And, and in some cases, it's going, going through far worse. And um, so they, while they may have a little compassion for what you're dealing with, you know, once they hear about it, or you may tell them about it, or somebody else tell them about it, they may have a little compassion, and they go, man, it's messed up. Then, I'm going through some stuff too. Everybody's dealing with some stuff. Um, it's kind of like, you ever roll by accident? It's like when you when you, when you you riding down the street and there's a, there's a real bad car accident, and um, people are passing by. People are going to pass by that accident, and they're going to look over there. They're going to be driving, they're going to look over there, and they're going to be like, man. They're going to see how bad it is, and see the ambulance and all the stuff going on out there. And um, then you're going to pass by the accident. That's probably going to stay on your mind for a minute or two at the most. And everybody, all of the hundreds and hundreds of cars that pass by that accident, see that accident, they're going to keep going. And in a minute or two, it's out their mind because they're going on to do what they have to do throughout their day. Now, they may make mention of it. Man, it was a real bad accident over there on such and such. But for the most part, tomorrow or the next day, it's not going to be something that they're thinking about. The people who were involved, it's not going to be something that they're going to be just thinking about and dwelling on for a long, long time because, you know, uh, life goes on. Life goes on. And we have to... Uh, pick up the pieces and, and deal with so many of us sharing this this planet you know that everybody is struggling to uh to pick up the pieces of their own problems and and, and and try to make improvements on those problems and it it can desensitize us to a degree about all the things that are going on in the world we, we can we can really become desensitized because of the fact that it's so much of it going on so much stuff happening and every time you hear about one thing even if you are trying to to like man that's messed up and somebody hey you heard about this like, oh man that's messed up too so you you can really become numb to a lot of a lot of the problems that that are going on in the world and at the same time dealing with your own so you have to start caring about yourself but do the best you can to have a balance about caring about other people and, and what they're going through too because we don't want to become robotic like that we want to we don't want to lose our um sympathy and empathy and compassion when it comes to each other as, as a as a people and as a humanity uh, because that will really uh turn us it would turn us off it would turn the switch off within us um but we got to keep going we have to keep going. That, that's that's one rule that that definitely applies because 
uh, on the flip side of, of most of what I'm saying, there are a lot of people who they are overly um, sympathetic to every little problem that's going on in the world. And they can't take it. They, it drives them crazy to hear about any little thing, you know. Um, they really have to figure out how to move on and, and, and find that balance. Um, you can think about how the ants move. You ever step, stepped in an ant bed, you know, by accident or on purpose, however you did it. Um, when you step on that thing, you, you're you gonna kill some of those ants. Uh, but a lot of them are gonna scatter out and just start running frantic. And and we think that the ants are running frantic and just, oh my God, like it's an ant apocalypse or something. But no, those ants are immediately getting back to work to rebuild uh, their civilization. And if you come back in, in a few hours, that ant bed is back intact, it's restored because they, they remove the emotion. If they even have emotional characteristics and they get right back to life, they get right back to fixing the problem. So there's a lesson in that, you know, if we paying attention, if we understanding what's, what's really going on. But don't be offended. Don't be upset if it seems like people are not um, bending over backwards to care about your struggles and care about um, your life because first of all total strangers they they're not obligated to care anyway uh, but even people that are close to you you know they do care but the reality is they have things going on in their own life as well and we just living in a time where it's man it's only so much attention that people are able to give to your and my problems. You know, you get it off your chest, you can vent a little bit, they got time to let you vent, but they're like, hey, you do venting? Okay, now it's my turn. You know, so keep that in mind uh, as we move forward and don't take it personal, but also don't become um, a robotic when it's time to care because it's, it's a lot of that lacking in today's world. Alright man, it's your big brother K Reno. If y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now. Subscribe to the channel. Go subscribe to my podcast channel. Y'all can't see this um, card. I'm not even holding it up because it's like um, the Underground Dialogue Podcast and our sports podcast for all of my sports heads. It's called Legends 34 Podcast. Y'all go subscribe to that now and I will catch y'all later on. Peace.